This short four minute video was captured along the Gaviota coastline October 22, 2009. It basically shows a series of clips alternating between visible and thermal beginning at 5.15 in the afternoon and continuing until 7 p.m. on 15 minute centers. You can see as the clips move from 5.30 to the 5.15 to the 5.30 time frame that the visible artifacts generated by the optics are readily apparent. You'll notice the blooming in the camera where the sun glint is high and the thermo camera doesn't display the same degree of blooming. As the sun continues to drop down the visible artifacts are more pronounced and the AGC is working real hard to get the best picture. Here we see as we shift into the thermal that the sun is now visible. The 6 p.m. series compares the narrow field of view between the visible and the thermal camera. It's sort of a good shot at showing how you can narrow the field of view in the visible and regain some of the functionality. You'll also notice that there is a little bit of image retention that corrects out every time the camera does a non-uniformity correction. That happens automatically. And here we illustrate that switching to the visible camera allows some of the usefulness of the camera to be regained but there is nothing uh, nothing that's close to that in the thermal. Thermal is solid between narrow and uh, wide field of view. Now here we pick it up just a few minutes before sunset and the uh, visible camera is looking directly into the sun. When you switch to the thermal you can see just a peak of uh, the sun still hanging there just a little bit in the thermal. Now we shift over to 6.30 p.m. and the, sunning, the sunset is a, a stunning uh, display of colors, but the AGC of the camera doesn't give you any information in the foreground, and you will basically lose a lot of information. Thermal camera remains solid, both in wide and narrow field of view. This next clip is sort of interesting because as the sun has transitioned, now we're getting the vivid sunset colors we're starting to see some of the uh, tail lights break out also so the camera has recovered from the blooming that was caused and the low light capability has kicked in to the best of its ability. You can see here when we zoom in in the thermal that the image has remained unchanged for the last hour and uh, 45 minutes in the thermal spectrum but not so in the visible. When you shift over to the visible you'll notice that the automatic gain control is fighting real hard when it sees the bright headlights against the low light background. The automatic gain control then kicks in and attempts to focus it and you can see here there's a picture of a ghosty image of a slower traffic keep right sign that pops in and out as, cam as lights, headlights go by and illuminate it. Now here at 7 p.m. you'll see some of the same artifacts generated by the low light characteristics. So as you zoom in, the autofocus is unable to keep up with the low amount of light and basically becomes worthless. When it does pick up any of the light, you can zoom back out, but the autofocus then makes the camera useless. Here again, rock solid in the thermal both in the wide and narrow field of view.